In this video, I'm going to share with you what I believe to be one of the best short yardage passing concepts in Madden 22. You're going to be man coverage, zone coverage, match coverage. You're going to be pretty much any coverage that the defense puts on the field. Now, if you are new to the YouTube channel, uh, I want to ask that you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now guys, in this video, like I said, we're gonna be talking about a short yardage, absolute money play uh, out of the gun bunch formation. Now this can be found in almost every playbook in the game, uh, but the playbook that I'm gonna recommend that you run in this video is gonna actually gonna go ahead and be the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. Um, I believe they have the best gun bunch formation in the entire game uh, because of the different varieties of route combinations that you can create with the stock routes in it. We actually also have a full ebook on the gun bunch if you want to get access to that. Um, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon in the description of the video. You can sign up for the Patreon for just $10 a month and it gets you not only access to the bunch guide, but it also gets you access to all 15 offensive and defensive guides that I have uh, in the Madden 22 season so far and anything that I'm going to release in the future. Now, the play that we're going to be talking about is the play dig return. This is a great little short yardage money play for a lot of different reasons. And uh, we're going to dive into some of those in this video. Now, uh, what we want to do with this is, again, we want to make this and kind of capitalize on it as a short yardage uh, concept. So um, it's actually a really, really, really simple setup. All we're going to do is smoke screen this, uh, this outside receiver here, Mike Evans. And what you're going to notice with this is this little zig route right here is going to basically get underneath almost every yellow zone in the game. And you're going to be able to consistently hit that route um, against uh, zone coverage. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Mike Blitz 3 and I'm going to run some Mabel coverage over there with a 3 rec hook defender. And again, you're just going to smoke screen that guy on the right. And what you're going to notice here is the zig is just going to get open in this pocket for four to five and then typically what you can do with this is you can actually go ahead and run after catch for you know a ton of yardage so very very effective little underneath passing concept i want to show you that in a cover two style of defense this is still a pretty solid little play you're going to notice that again he gets underneath that route and i could i should have possession caught that right there um but he gets underneath the cover two and then i'm going to go to man coverage here in just a second but again i just want to show uh, how good this the see how that in route just pulls the yellow again i got a possession catch it you don't want to rat catch it but um the the in route just absolutely will pull the yellow zone back and what you'll see is when he kind of zigs the outside you can do that little dive catch just like that and again it's just a great little short yardage concept now this can actually turn into much more than just a short yardage concept it can actually turn into a five uh, a five out play and the way we're going to do that is just by streaking the running back. Now, I've talked about how important I think that that running back streak is. And you're going to notice that um, you're going to see that that smoke screen is going to pull almost every zone in the game outside. And I'm going to be able to throw that smoke screen open um, against that situation. What this is also going to do for your offense is it's going to put their user in a position where, you know, they have to either, you know, make a decision. And again, you could also do this with a wheel route. You don't have to use a a streak you could also use this wheel and have this little smoke screen you know have that kind of as a backside concept now the beauty of the whip route is it not only beats cover three cover four cover two but it also beats uh cover one robber which is one of the most popular defenses uh right now so i'm gonna go ahead and press my coverage and what you're going to notice with this little zig is we're going to get this kind of natural pick that's going to occur and as you can see um, it gets wide open against that coverage. So then what's going to happen is the opponent is going to go ahead and say, well, I don't want to play press coverage on you. I want to go ahead and shade my coverage over the top, which is uh, going to, again, con continue to open this zig right up very consistently. Now, when you get man coverage, you can kind of uh, do that little rat catch a little bit more consistently than if you get zone. But as you can see, it gets wide open. Um, and then the next coverage I want to show you is match coverage. Uh, a lot of people this year have shifted to playing more match coverage against the gun bunch. And what you're going to see is the same kind of thing. I can just get that open almost very similarly to every other situation that we've, we've gone through in this video. Now, what you can do off of all of this and everything that I've just shared 
is the defense is going to try to shade their coverage down. Well, what we're going to be able to do off of this is we can actually run a slant and a smoke screen concept just like this. Notice that this in this little zig route to Miller is still wide open. So when you utilize a slant as opposed to the in route, it significantly helps this. So again, we're going to use the slant now to, to pull zones. Notice that the vert hook is going to be there, but it's going to be sucked to the outside, and we're able to easily hit that route uh, to Scotty Miller on the zig. So again, just you and you don't necessarily have to slant him all the way. Uh, that just helps a little bit because what happens is the yellow zone will jet out a little bit more. Here you'll see that because of the jet, the the press, he's still kind of in the area. And so it can be a little bit more of a dicey throw. Whereas with a slant pattern, you really don't have to worry about it. Now I wanted to give you a one last little kind of additional bonus setup. And this is primarily for if they're doing that shaded coverage down technique. So what we want to do if they're doing something like that is we want to try to keep press animations from occurring. And that's one of the things that really significantly is going to help this zig route get open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and post the tight end. We're going to flat Chris Godwin, and then we're going to smoke screen Mike Evans. And what you're gonna see now is this yellow zone can't get underneath it. It's still gonna get pulled back. And that was shaded down uh, vert hook and was not able to cover that. You could test me on that out of three wrecks and hook curls as well. But it's just another layer at which we can kind of add to um, this concept. There's no jam, so I can throw that before it gets to the yellow zone. Even if they have a five yard vert hook, for example, you're still gonna have a lot of, um, it's really not gonna be a great option uh, for them to stop this. So again, you could do that. One last little thing I wanted to say is if you wanna block your tight end, for a little bit of extra protection. One of the things that I really like to do with this is you can kind of run it like this on it, honestly. And then you can take this backside guy and put him on some type of slant or if you wanted to do a flipped crosser, um, you know, then what happens is now you've got a lot of protection and then you see how the zones are just getting sucked down and you're gonna throw that slant on the sideline. So there's a, there's a lot of ways that you can build around this concept but I just absolutely love the way this little concept works. If you get really good at throwing that zig, it's very difficult to defend. And then what's also really cool is that you can kind of package that with a backside slant um, and smoke screen or even using the in route. And what you'll notice is you oftentimes will catch that on the sideline. So like let's say their user says, well, we want to try to take away the zig. So they're going to kind of sit on it a little bit. Well, then what you could easily do is, I mean, you could even do like a ghost route to the running back um, because it's a short yardage concept. And then if you wanted to on this guy with uh, Mike Evans, this could still be a crosser or still could be, you know, whatever you want it to be. But what you'll notice now is again, that slant is going to get into such a cool little area of the field. It's very difficult to set zone drops for and very difficult really to cover in addition to everything we're doing with this whip route. So this is what makes this one of the best short yardage passing concepts in Madden 22. I want to thank you for watching this video. I also want to let you know and just quickly remind you that if you're watching, you're still watching the video, you enjoyed it, I would really encourage you to check out our Patreon membership. It's only $10 a month and literally you get everything for it. You get all of the bunch uh, material. You, you get all of um, all 15 of our guides that we have. We've got trips tied in, U trips, spread, air raid. Uh, we've got a ton of defenses as well. So if you're really looking to take your game and elevate it to the next level, I would really, really encourage you to consider joining the Patreon. And again, it's only $10 a month. So if you want to join it, head on down to the description of the video and you can click the link that I put down there and go join the Patreon for just 10 bucks.